While playing in the water, babies practice not only swimming, but are also able to develop motor capabilities and learn to recognize colors. The babies dive with the toy and it seems totally natural to them. The same as when they play at home. And when their moms and dads dive too, they see absolutely nothing strange in it. They're not even bothered by strangers. That's because from about six months of age, kids are getting used to bigger groups of children and grown-ups. They play with them and learn to cooperate. But before you actually start with a pool, it's a good idea to practice at home in the tub. And when babies are about three months old, you can take them to bigger tubs, to a baby club, where they turn them into inflatable babies, like the ones we've seen. Surprising the kid doesn't get scared and start crying when he falls in the water so suddenly. That's because they're used to water. Something is always going on and nothing can surprise them. It is true that a shock is often the cause of drowning when people fall in the water unexpectedly. Hello there, Mr. Submarine. Well done. You deserve applause for this. Oh, definitely. It's very important to praise children for what they do. It's great motivation for them. Not only for them. I would be pleased too if you praised me once in a while. Hmm. Can you tell me what for? Maybe for listening to your lecture? Hey, I'm not giving you a lecture. I just comment on what's going on on the screen. That's all. Hunting instinct takes over now. That's motivation too. Are even toys hungry? But feeding underwater is different to feeding on land. The child is getting used to the different attributes of water, which will come in handy when learning to swim. When the child sees his mom disappear underwater and sees her come up somewhere else, he's not afraid to dive. It all seems perfectly natural. And here is a merry-go-round, like in a fun fair or a theme park. Hmm, roller coaster is worse. I wouldn't get sick here. To manage such hurdles, you need to be quite brave. They do learn to manage fear this way, and they also train their ability to get out of water onto some floating object or a shore. Anything is possible if you have the right motivation. The children learn how to exhale into the water by making bubbles. Proper breathing is crucial for swimming. That's why it should be trained from the very beginning. Oh. 
Oh, this is interesting. Girls are fascinated by mirrors. No one has to teach them that. She'll even dive for one. A proper lady makes sure she looks the part no matter where she is. This way they train orientation underwater and their ability to get to the shore. It has to do with their safety in case they fall in the water. I'm fascinated by these kids. They're always in such a great mood. They don't sniffle or cry when they fall in the water unexpectedly. They even smile underwater. Because nothing can surprise them underwater. They're prepared for everything. The worst thing is when a person panics underwater and can't get his orientation right. That's mostly why people drown. For some 53 years, I was not a fan nor in favor of infant swimming. My opinion was to a great extent affected by a communist documentary I saw while studying at a faculty, where a man was throwing newborn babies and infants into a pool in a fairly rough way and saying how this will strengthen their floating reflexes and how very good and beneficial this would be for their swimming in the future. When years later, baby clubs and swimming classes appeared, I thought to myself, so, this must be it. Luckily enough, it wasn't. It is not really swimming, but who would get hooked on some controlled motional activities in a water environment? So the term swimming remained in the end. I would rather it was put in brackets, as the babies and toddlers will not actually learn to swim at this age. They get to know the water environment and get used to it. Therefore, swimming will be easier for them to learn when they get older. So in the end, it is a good thing, no matter which way you look at it. See? Even a highly educated doctor says it's good for the children, even though at first he wasn't much of a fan. Do you know what blows my mind? The kids keep their eyes open all the time underwater, and when they come up, they don't even rub them with their hands. When I try to open my eyes underwater, they really sting, and I can't stop rubbing them. And these kids don't seem to mind at all. Well, I'm not sure you would put your hair through such misery. Of course I would. No sacrifice is too big if it makes a child happy. You don't go to a pool straight from the hairdressers. And besides, by this time, my head would have been wet a hundred times anyway. 